Hello and welcome back. Let's see how we can add variation to trees and vegetation using Bifrost and Arnold. We'll be able to add different colors and textures to the leaves, so it isn't so repetitive. Huge credit to Valhallen that created a custom compound just for this. Ok, let's start by importing the tree model. In this case I am using a reference as it's much lighter. Now drag the leaf's geo to the graph and add the random leaf color compound. Let's just connect it to a diagnostic material to see the result. As you can see this is instant, I previously had a script that would take about 50 seconds to process. In this case we're using an egg to make it real time by specifying the number of vertices per leaf, 9 for this model. We also have an ID output that it's actually what we're going to use in the shading part. Now we can convert the Bifrost graph to a Maya mesh. And as you can see we have a new color set with random values that will assist us in the shading of the leaves. Let's create a new material and load the vertex colors in the user data color node. Make sure you enable export the vertex colors. Now with the Arnold ramp set to custom we can start to add different colors to shade the leaves. You can add as many as you like and control the amount of each color or texture just like a probability shader. Next we will create the final shader for the model. Let me get the textures from the previous material so we can add the variations next. And we can now drag the textures to the ramp inputs. Instead of loading different textures which you can do, I am creating variations of the albedo with a color correct node. Then it's just a matter of adjusting the ramp inputs to control the amount of each. Now we can export the tree to an S file as is the only way to render multiple materials in Bifrost, at least for now. In order to break the repetition I am creating different variations for each tree. Here I'm adding some translucency and a quick roughness map. A different pattern you can see in trees are those patches of color and you can easily add that with a small noise, giving it some contrast and connecting it as a mask to another color correct. And this is the type of effect I'm after. Once you have the models exported, it's a good idea to create proxy objects for the viewport. For that you can use a simple cone or go a bit more fancy by converting the tree model to a volume and back to a mesh. This way you get a real size and shape representation. Let's just quickly have a look at the scattering setup. First I have this terrain starting with some planes and displacing it with a fractal noise. Next I am going to use my custom scatter compound just updated with all the pro probabilities exposed. After connecting the ground you can start to add the different trees using the render archive instance and the proxy for the viewport display. Then we can add more instances using either number or density mode. And here's where the different variations can be controlled, with the probabilities attributes. You can set how many trees you want for a given model. Just make sure the probabilities not used are set to zero. I will update this compound. You can see the level of control we have this way. 
which a shading node like a Color Jitter wouldn't give us. And I ended up with something like this, some sort of late summer palette. Not the best result, but you can see how this can help you achieve a more natural look for your scenes. And that's it. Let me know if you have any questions or suggestions about this workflow. Thank you and see you soon.